Okay, in this video what we're going to talk about is the retentative timer and how we apply the reset to it. Now, if you haven't watched my other videos on timers, especially the timer on delay, it might be useful to go back and review that video before you watch this because I will skip over a couple of things that are already discussed in some of those other videos. So the first thing we want to do is grab the retentative timer, the RTO, which is in the timer counter bin in RSLogix 500. So we're going to click this, drag it down, drop it where we want. Now the retentative timer is addressed the same way the timer on and the timer off delays are recorded. So this would be T4 colon 0 and again it could be 0 through 255. Okay, We'll keep our time base high and we're going to set our preset at 15 seconds. Okay, So again that's 15 times your preset which would be 0.1. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab and make a contact off of here. This contact is going to be the done contact off of here. Okay, so this is the timer done. So whenever my accumulator reaches my preset, this will go true. Now, the main difference between a retentative timer and a timer on delay is that a retentative timer will retain its accumulated value when power is removed from the timer. On delays, as soon as you remove the timer, the, the power to the, uh, the logical continuity of the timer, the accumulator resets back to zero. But with the retentative timer, that doesn't happen. So the next thing I need to do is to add a reset in here. Now best practice is to always add your reset above your timer. And I am going to have this reset manually through an input. So I am going to make this reset using the middle green button. And then I'm going to grab a reset. Now you come over here, you're going to grab the timer counter, and there's a reset here. You grab this, you drag it down to where you want it, and this actually gets the same address as the retentative timer. Now notice that I drug it over there. You could type it in, but I tend to find that there's a little it's a little easier and you get less mistakes if you just drag it over. So you know that that retentative that reset is for that retentative timer. Especially if you have multiple retentative timers, you want to make sure that it's being reset at the right time. This is a good trick for you. So, we're going to come over here. We're going to download. So, let's take a look at how this retentative timer activates. I am going to activate the green button for about five seconds and you can see that the accumulated is counting up. Now when I get to five I let it go the accumulated value stays there. That five is still present in the accumulated uh, word. So I'll activate it again. Okay. And no longer no matter how long or how many times I activate it or turn it on or off, it will retain that value. Now just like an on delay, when I hit that 15 seconds, my done is going to go true. So now my cylinder is extending because my accumulated matches my preset. So this will stay done until it's reset. So you have to have a reset with the retentative timer. In this case what I'll do, I'll activate the middle green button and that should reset it and retract my cylinder. Retentative timers are often used not necessarily to accomplish or activate an output but for data tracking. If you want to track how long a motor has been running or um, how long a hydraulic power unit has been turned on, whatever it is, okay, whatever you want to track, retentative timers are really good for that. Okay, So this was activating when the timer done. So now I'm going to go ahead and set a circuit up here that will operate a little bit differently and show you how we can use a number of the different things out there. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the red pilot light, which is output 2. Okay, We're going to call this a motor. Okay, Now we want to track how long this DC motor is on. Okay, because when it's because after it goes a certain amount of time, we want to change the brushes out. Okay, so we we can add this to our preventative maintenance plan. Okay, so as long as this inputs on, this will be timing, 
and my DC motors on okay now I can put memory around here if I'd like so I will have a start stop station controlling my DC motor okay and whenever my DC motor is on my retentative timer will count okay and so I will download this and we can see how this works and now notice that I don't have a done bit in here all I'm doing is tracking okay so I'll come over here activate the green button notice that my motor which is represented by a red pilot light here is running okay I can come over here and I can stop it turn it back on now obviously if this was like for 2000 hours or something like that this would take much longer but then after that 15 seconds we're done okay and now I've tracked it and so I can actually now uh, come over here turn this off and I can have that activate a pilot light with a done bit which I'll do here in a second to let everyone know hey we're, we're done here okay and we need to get these brushes changed out so then to reset it I come over here activate the middle green button and there we go so this would be the first step in doing something like that now let's say I want to make sure this motor cannot run until it has been reset okay so in so what I can do here and I'll keep the stop button I can make this a t4 colon 0 forward slash DN okay so once this is done this motor will not be able to activate until the brushes have been activated and then we've pushed our reset button okay so let's go ahead and try this okay I'm gonna go ahead and change this preset timer to five seconds so we don't have to wait as long and we activate this it's gonna count for five seconds if I hit the stop button it will act uh, as it did before we get to five seconds boom the done bits activated now notice that this done bit is now logically false so no matter what I do I can't hit the, I can hit this start button a hundred times and it will never turn that DC motor on until I reset my accumulated value of my retentative timer I come here and I hit my reset button which I'm using as my middle green that restarts it now if that what that would represent is I have now changed out the brushes on my DC motor come over here hit the start button and I'm ready to rock and roll again so I can go for 1800 eight, you know 1800 hours 2000 hours whatever it is and when that's done I'm ready to reset and rock and roll okay and so that is those are examples of how a retentative timer can be used it is a extremely useful for preventative maintenance tracking data whatever it is you need to know um, it is very very good and very often used in SCADA systems and other systems that track uh, data on a regular basis alright thanks for watching and I hope the video helped